but it's always a recovery movement in your chest to the normal, to the natural. This is the natural action and not action position for ballroom dancing. Now, while your low center is your belly button, hip area, always have to be in movement like wheels in the car. So it's always moving constantly. Your chest is stone, your low center is constantly moving. And the slower you go, the more confident and more professional you will look. What I mean, in your low center, in your hips, if you um, prepare your chest up forward, tone, beautiful, and you start to do some action, uh, it's look like you panic, and everybody thinks like you're panic. Something happening, something gonna happen, or something gonna happen. So the more slow you go with this beautiful presentation in your chest, the more slow you go with your hips, the more professional you will look. So you can lower your center, for example, like in samba, you can do it with the both knees so. You can do circular action. You can do number eight, like a Cuban motion. But the slowest you go, the stronger you will look. So never really think like, oh, samba music is so fast, now I have to do it with the music. No, you, you can take your time, especially for the girls. You will look very sexy and very internal. The internal movement, we don't, before our routine, when we prepare ourselves for the dancing, we're not starting dancing yet. That's just a preparation. That's how you present yourself and you feel the music. Let's say it would be very super fast music and samba, but if I'm gonna dance this movement during the fast music, I will look good. I don't need to do so many like hundred different moves in once in one bar or in one beat. Yes? So always remember your upper part, your chest, that's a presentation point and show with this point you show everyone that I'm ready, I'm ready to dance here. And of course you have to breathe, don't forget to breathe, it doesn't mean like you have to take strong in inhale and that's it. No, no, no. This part we tone it up but at the same time inside we're like we're free, we're free. Now the low part, the low center is your hips. You can do the circular action like you move your hips in a circle, that, that is great for samba. You can do Cuban motion, like number eight. This is very good for rumba, also as well for a cha-cha. For the hip jive, we can use our hip like pendulum action, side to side. But again, do not, if you're not experienced with that, do not try to like search and um, chase for speed. Try to do it more internal, more reserved in the way and slow. The slower you go, the better you will look. Um, and that's kind of the energy you create. And um, also, the movement, we have different energies. If, for example, I want to arrive into some line or position, let's say I want to arrive to the position. You have to, before you even start to create this line, you have to analyze, oh, through what muscle, or maybe I don't need to turn on my muscle in this certain movement, or through which action I have to develop this movement. Let's say if I'm going to the sit position, I'm not just sit because I feel sexy, no. I'm trying to stretch these two points, my hip, my tailbone, and my chest in opposite direction on maximum, through the maximum stretch, never release, stretch your muscles. So that's how you develop those type of lines or lunge, stretch. So you have maximum stretch between your left and your rib. You stretch the line. 
If, for example, you have already, you already in seated position or you're in lunge, then you want to play with the energies and you want to do some movement. Always go for slow. So slow, it doesn't mean that we have to just do movement slower. No, the slower movement goes, the more resistance through your muscles you create. So if, for example, I want to do something slow, I will try to engage all muscle in my body. So I will feel that all, even minor muscles in my body, works on maximum. That means, that's what means slow. It doesn't mean like, oh, I just have to go slower. But when you look at yourself in the video, it looks like, hmm, that's not what I was, <laughs> I've been thinking. I thought that looked much, much better. So you need to know how to use these energies. Or if, for example, we talk about some melting action, let's say if I stretch my arm up, let's say, and then I want to do some sensual soft movement. The sensual soft movement or melting action, this energy not require you to keep your muscles in tone. So let's say, for example, I want to do some, something sensual, yes? And very, very soft. If I will keep my muscle, I will look like <laughs> that dancer bodybuilder. So you have to just release and feel that you melting this energy one by one. So starting with your wrist, with your elbow, with your shoulder to your center. So you don't really uh, should turn on your mus muscular tension. It's just release and feel the smell. Then you can do something strong, impact movement. And impact movement, usually most of the times we create through the chest. Sometimes um, when, for example, it's not only chest, but it can be just your legs. So you put this fast energy to only one point, um, only one part of your body. Let's say it's arm, yes, or hand. It's only one part of your body. If you will try to do impact in every single part of your body, you will look very, very um, too much, I would say. Yes, it's only remember, if you want to do something impact, you just have to play and you need to know in advance. And you have to plan in advance and analyze in advance what you want to show, what type of energy, how, through which muscle or through which movement you create it. It's not like, oh, I'm sexy, I'm sensual. Uh, yeah, if for example I tell to myself these uh, images, I might, <laughs> I might succeed with that, but uh, again, it depends on your um, experience and um, what is your level. If your level is professional enough and you already know how your body works and you always, that's kind of your daily routine, you know exactly how to turn or off your body. Yeah, these images might work. But if you're not sure, you always um, don't buy those kind of like uh, words. Try to always think, try to always uh, when, uh, put it through and digest in your head first and then put in your kind of soul and start to believe in those images. Yeah, so it's important and you can play with that. Uh, based on um, those different energies, you can play with that and you always can choose every single day be different. Um, that would be a great uh, and fun exercise for you. And if you like uh, this video, please press and smash the like button. Dance Today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support.